Greetings and salutations, this is Jason Silverain, and today I'll be taking a look at Tube Tycoon. Now if this sounds familiar to you, then like myself, you've most likely seen Jacksepticeye's playthrough back in 2016 when it was in early beta. As of 2018, it's now seen a full release on Steam. It's around £8, a little steep, and I'll tell you why. Now, Tube Tycoon was made by a solitary indie dev um, from Poland, who now has the company called Tealfire. It's a cute little company. And the chap was originally a YouTuber before moving into game design, and for no one's done a YouTube uh, simulator game, and it was around the time where uh, Game Dev Tycoon had really taken off as well. So there was lots of beginning simulators and tycoon style games. Now, when the beta was released, the game was very bare bones and basic, and I'm sad to say it still is. And as you can see, it's only version 1.05. There's only been a handful of updates since its release, and this is one of the reasons it has very mixed reviews. There's been lots of bugs and complaints about the game from a technical standpoint, and the dev seems to have just up and vanished. There's only one person which many people didn't realise and understand. So I can understand when you have a new release to the public, your your game is going out to a lot more different specs of machine and uh, software than you know you probably tested yourself. So unable to keep up, there was lots of issues, but. There's not really been much improvement overall for the base game. Now the settings are very basic and simple. One thing that does irk me, um, if you bought the game early you could actually get into the game and have your username in the game. And I bought this game back in 2016 when it was about £5 when it was like in the beta slash testing stage. So if you see a doom in a bottle, that's me. Uh, I am a little annoyed because I did ask the guy to put me in as Jason Silverrain and he didn't. So, yeah. But then again, Doom in a Bottle was my original YouTube name, so not really an issue. As you can see, I've been playing the game and I've, I'm about two hours in. And as you can see, I've made quite a lot of videos. It's interesting in the fact that the UI is very nice and when you're initially making your accounts, you know, you've got quite a little bit of options, and you can check out your channel how it looks, which is really nice. Unfortunately, a lot of these options are just pointless. The choices do not matter, and I'll sh again show you why. You'd think from a YouTube simulator, you'd have like things like target audiences, themes, um, having to buy new software to do upgrades and editing, and various options like that, very similar to Game Dev Tycoon, where you'd have different areas you'd explore. Now, to record a video, you click on record a video. Uh, I've unlocked what, simple vlogs, that is video logs, and daily vlogs. You get a random title, because you can't even originally change the titles of your videos until uh, you actually pay for it with research, which is just ridiculous. Likewise, you don't even know if you're going to get much interest from your videos until you unlock it by getting enough subscribers. And practically everything in this game is unlocked by gaining enough subscribers. And it doesn't matter how well you do, you will gain very small amounts of subscribers regardless. Actually, when you do well, you still only gain like four or five. And this makes the game progression very slow. And to put it bluntly, it's not a simulator game, it's a clicker game in disguise. So, see, there's for no reason there is this timer. There's an energy cost as well, it costs two energy to make a video, so you can make four videos a day. And it adds up, and it's like, it's like why? It, it just does a loading bar, there's no engagement, there's no choices, there's, there's just nothing. I mean, you get these little comments, which aren't even relevant to the video, 9 times out of 10, and the feedback you get, you can't do anything with, and it, it doesn't even matter anyway, because it's not relevant. 
it's exactly the same if I wanted to record a game. What you would do is pick a game from TubeSim, which is basically a Steam take the mic, and uh, you'd buy one. It's a one-off cost. Then you just select it and record. That's it. And yeah. <laughs> As you start off with a bit of money, which slowly ticks down because you pay rent every day for some reason. Um, and you can't earn money until you reach a certain amount of subscribers. And even though I've unlocked the choice for monetization now, I've so far earned one token, one tube coin. None of my other videos have managed to unlock um, tube coins and. I found that you need at least 400 views, but even if you get over 400 views, there is no guarantee you will get tube coins. So there's not really much um, actual player agency or feedback, and you can't really affect the viewers anyway, other than figuring out what's the most interest will be generated by a video. Now you can get unlocks. The first ones you get are these skill points and you start off with either picking simple vlogs or simple games to start. The tree for the upgrades makes no sense. It really doesn't. Why you have to go through vlogs to unlock your own titles, I don't know. For example, you, but you have to go through simple games if you want to unlock the store which gets you editing software and other things that can improve your video. And it's, as you can see, that's a lot of subs you need to un unlock these um, options. And considering I'm getting two to four subs with every video, you know, how long is it going to take to get 500 subs? Someone do the maths. <laughs> it takes a long time. I mean, we've got this little thing here, it's just. Look how many subscribers it's like, goes from. 25, which took about 40 minutes, and then 70 subscribers, which took me about an hour and a half, and, I, and I, around the two hour mark I got the 100, 170 subscribers. It's just a flicker game, and a really bad one at that. And it does pretty much the three unforgivable, uh, unforgivable crimes of a computer game. It's boring, it's repetitive, and it doesn't really let you do anything. It's overpriced, basically. Oh, I don't like doing these negative reviews, but especially for something I've put money in for, you know, I supported, and I really wanted to see develop as well. Hopefully someone else will take this concept and ride with it, but so far I just cannot really advise this. It's a time sink and there's not really much else you can call it. I mean there's an annoying little thing where you can invite Steam friends to it if they've got Tube Tycoon and you actually get an achievement for that so that's an achievement I'm never gonna get because no one on my friends list has Tube Tycoon um, which that's irksome. <laughs> I don't like achievements that require you to invite friends that basically makes it the level of a Facebook game. Finally, there is a few hidden achievements here and there, which were good ideas, and for example, the share button takes a screenshot. That did irk me, but I got an achievement for it. I was like, I didn't realise it would actually take a screenshot, I just thought it was like a random button you could click and it would do something in the game. Oh, it is kind of nice to try and integrate that, you know, the screenshot feature into the game, but the fact it doesn't explain it, uh, hit and miss there. But that's all I can really say, there's not really much to show you. As I say, the game's very bare bones, it spent two years in development, it's one chap making it. And I will say this, you didn't make a um, tycoon game, you didn't make a simulator game, you made a very pretty, very simple clicker game. I hope you do better in the future, mate, because you've shown you got some ideas, you've shown you've got some talent, but I'm sad to say Tube Tycoon is not recommended. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.